Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. This is a part due for this kit. I'll have to say that this has already been opened and looked through by me and a video created, but now I'm having to do it all over again because, of course, my camera, actually, I think it's the software, not the camera, uh, decided to do the standard freakout times 10, so I had digitized stuff all over the screen, and that usually happened. I think because it doesn't like how many similar colors are on screen or something, kind of like when I do this, and maybe there's mostly just white box or something. So I get all this, like, compression stuff. You've seen it on probably my prior videos. Well, I'm hoping that by using my Power Director Capture software that I will uh, circumvent this. Now, the irony is I probably won't use Power Director to actually do the video because it takes longer. Uh, I'll probably end up using uh, Movie Maker. But um, might, might see. Maybe I'll check to see how much uh, time and so forth it, it'll take to do it in, in Power Director because it is a better program, which obviously I'm demonstrating by the fact that I'm not getting a bunch of crap on my screen. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, sorry, my apologies to Kern Kit <laughs> for, that, for that highly technical intro issue. Okay, so we have here from Kern Kit, which is a new manufacturer to us. This is the first time I think we've ever reviewed anything, um, at least directly. This is a 148 scale resin kit. Uh, 4802 is the model number you can see here. It's, a, uh, again, 48 scale of the uh, KFC 305 Opal Blitz 4x4 three ton German truck with Africa plate. Now, uh, this includes some photo etch parts as they notate on the box. Before we open it up, just want to point out that they do carry some other 48 scale uh, German trucks as well. Uh, the covered truck here, um, another version, I'm not sure what the difference on that. It looks like it has some, maybe a, well it has, uh, they both have that, so I'm not sure, maybe it's just a different version. And then the kind of telephone communications uh, truck also. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what we've got. Now I've already looked at this once obviously so I'm I'm way ahead of the curve on this. Um, this is the issue though. I can't remember how I repackaged this. I could have looked at the video I suppose. But I have put these back in maybe not in the way they originally put in. Um, I'm going to say the current kit there are some very small resin pieces mixed in with the smaller pieces and that um, maybe packaging them a little bit more uh, carefully be better because you know how resin can break pretty easily in this kind of setup uh, I can't remember also um, if there was more in the box than this I don't I don't believe there was but it's possible there was some some small styrofoam or something like that that I may have removed um, I will notate that in the video after I go back and look at the original one so it has just appeared now on the screen like magic okay so um, let's go ahead and t open this actually let's let's save these pieces so you can see there's three bags in here We'll, open, we'll go ahead and open the cab and bed up first. Now I've already shot photos on all these, so I've gotten pretty good close-up looks at all, digitally anyways, and I can say that there is some fantastic detail on things like this back cab. Uh, woodworking on the bottom, uh, detail on the bottom, as well as uh, all the other surfaces you would expect. Um, there's a little bit of uh, resin flash in here, which is going to be easy to trim up and clean. It uh, doesn't look like any major issues. I can't speak to the accuracy in terms of the truck, but you can see uh, from some of these uh, hopefully little close-ups there, that's a lot of detail uh, for a 48 scale kit, which is nice. Um, the cab is also nice. Um, there again is a little bit around the windows here you're going to have to trim. Uh, the, the front grille looks really nice. If my camera will cooperate there, no, it's not going to. There's going to be photos. Standard, standard photos will apply. Um, they did give you an option here. There's a single door which I believe is the driver's door. Um, so you can cut this one out if you'd like and have a openable door. Um, that is an option for this. So, but uh, moving on, um, here are the wheels and fenders and the lower uh, frame, the interior seat and so forth. And of course, there's a block of resin on the back of this, but uh, basically the, you know, the seat kind of goes in here in a little, uh, you know, kind of floorboard and seat arrangement. I kind of like that that they did it all in one, one piece. As you can see, there's nice texturing on the seat too, in terms of uh, just vinyl and and uh, springs being under there and so forth. Uh, here's one of the fenders, which is a very kind of frail-looking little piece, and uh, hopefully my camera will decide to focus in there. There you go. Um, and then there's the, the frame itself, which needs to be cut off this bottom 
uh, block segment looks looks pretty pretty easy that it doesn't look too thick there on that bottom resin uh, piece to cut it off and again really nice details on this um, in terms of the the lower uh, kind of uh, suspension bits and so forth here's the uh, canvas uh, let's see if I can get a I've got a photo of this so I know but there, there's the the canvas um, what do you call the the, the, the wire the framework or the the hoops or whatever you'd call them I don't know what they what they'd be called but some of the wheels Again, very nice detail for 48 scale. Lots of lots of bolts and and detail like that. And there's some of the less of the front wheels probably a little less meaty. Uh, again, little bits of the flash in in here to, to trim out. Here's that uh, driver's door. Um, and on the inside, they've even got the the detail of like the the uh, window openers and handles and things like that, which is really nice too. So I think that takes care of those pieces. Uh, and then lastly, uh, all the small detail pieces. And again, I've got photos of all these, so you can probably, if you want to see uh, detail. But some of the things I noticed, like the, the fuel cans uh, look nice. They're all mounted in little side side mounters, one, one double one there and a single. Uh, again, lots of good detail here on the, on the axle. Um, if I can, again, get my camera to cooperate. There we go. And, uh, you know, they've got everything's in here, uh, dashboard, um, the um, tools, the muffler. Again, there's the long pipe there with the muffler at that end. Um, yeah, I mean, just lots of little things in here, such as shift knobs and so forth. I, I, you know, there's so much detail stuff in here. I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, let you look at the photos for those. But you can see they've got leaf spring construction, steering wheel, engine block. All that stuff is in this kit. So let's, uh, before I quickly go to the uh, photos, and actually I wanted to cover the instructions as well as these, but uh, here's some clear, which is for the uh, windows, obviously. And uh, you can see it's nicely stenciled out there for cutting. And then there's a cornet um, a photo etch here, which looks nice too, some detail. Uh, the, um, uh, the license, identifier plates and so forth, which, gosh darn it, camera, really? Okay, there we go. Uh, that looks good. They've even got a warning thing and windshield wipers and floor floor pedal, floor pedals and uh, lots of stuff, lots of stuff there. So, it's probably my fingerprints on there, I hope. And lastly, just before we go to photos, before we cut to the photo section, um, there are the instructions which do have um, both a step-by-step -step, a parts layout which is nice to make sure you get all the parts i i was scrambling around going where's the other door where's the other door oh right both doors are fixed so so they did give me uh give me quite a scare there that i lost one of the doors until i realized only one additional door or one open door potentially comes with it um here's the showing obviously the drivetrain and chassis going together the uh the front uh cab details and the interior and the back so you know, it doesn't look it doesn't look too complex a build in terms of you know instructions handle it in one sheet and then we've got a painting guide on here with uh four different versions fifth panzer army tunisia november 1942 french forces of the interior Fran uh, france 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 uh, paris uh september 1944 falschmager division uh, crete may 1941 21st panzer division uh con June 1944. So uh, let's take a look at some photos and we'll come back and conclude.
Well, I hope you enjoyed those photos of the Kern kit. Uh, 148 scale Opel Blitz 4x4 three ton German truck with Africa plate. Um, we'd like to thank Kern Kit for sending us this uh, advanced, or not advanced, but this review sample. I'm sure it's already out on shelves. Um, but uh, we'd also like to encourage anyone who's a resin builder if you want to do a build project with this uh, and show us uh, how you can build this and make it look good or some technique or something. Write an article about a how to, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can give me an email at publisherkitmaker.net. Uh, and we can talk about that. Uh, again, uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And you can always click the like button if you liked it. And we'll see you next time on Cracking the Box.